I'm gonna watch you miss it. Watch me miss it, probably. G'day guys, I'm out this time on a local coordinated program doing rabbit control. Ground shooting is one phase and I'm happy to be contracted with other similar like-minded marksmen to get the job done. I'm shooting my brand new FX Impact Mark III air rifle on this job. It's a standard 600mm barrel in 22 cal with a Sabre Tactical Arca Swiss mount so I can easily shoot directly off my tripod. There's no power upgrades on this rifle yet and I'm shooting various 23 grain slugs at about 930 feet per second. I am mixing up the slugs between NSA, H&N and Zan to see how they perform with a little bit of real world testing on the bunnies. Fortunately all are a similar point of impact at 50 metres so I can just switch those slugs around. The thermal scope of course is my Pulsar Thermion 2 LRF XP50 Pro. Thermal hand scanner, I'm running this little Pulsar Axion 2 LRF XQ35. It's just to get a little bit of a gauge and I will be doing a review on this device in the near future. In the timber. Nowhere. The shooting environments are pretty dynamic on this job. We're covering small rural, a little bit of commercial land, orchards, a flower farm, and we've even buzzed around a golf course for a little while in the electric buggy. Little occupational hazard here, clothesline. Adam's just been caught up in that. <laughs> we had a bit of a laugh, he got stuck under it for a while there. <laughs> Nothing like getting your barrel caught up on a clothesline. Yeah, who'd have known? We just went into another property, another clothesline, and I've obviously jokingly said to my mate, watch out for the clothesline. Obviously got a smart ass scuff back, and he's just got himself tangled up in it again. On these shoots, for safety reasons, we're always paired up. There's a large amount of restraint required when it's peri-urban of your backdrop. Now that might be vehicles, houses, animals. Uh, often we do have to reposition just to take a safe shot. Often enough, we can't take the shot. That's just how it is on these jobs because the safety does come as number one priority. We're about to throw a rock at this rabbit. It's very safe at the moment with that horse behind it.
our trusty steed for the evening. Good times. We're all about priorities. Who doesn't like a few flippy, spinny rabbits with a clean headshot? Like death. Yes. Yeah, I got that. Plenty of tawny frogmouths out tonight. Very cool animals to see for sure. There's some notable thermal splatter from the Zan 23 grain slugs, which is pretty awesome from an air rifle. I have found the H&N and the NSA slugs in the same weight, a little bit hard. They tend to punch straight through the rabbits. Uh, so at the moment, I'm gonna stick with the Zans. Quick little air refill, composite tank from Shoot Air, works a treat.
Righto, we've just picked up a fox down in this paddock. It's about 200 metres away. Adam's going to stay back and... I'm going to watch you miss it. Watch me miss it, probably, but we'll go and see if I can get close enough for the impact. First fox with the FX. We'll see. First one for the new FX Impact, so happy with that. 22 cal, 23 grain slug up the back of the ear. Didn't particularly like it. Righto, we'll wrap it up there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm certainly looking forward to spending more time with this little air rifle on jobs like this in the future. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it if you'd have a look at my Patreon, and I'll see everyone next time. It's honestly an occupational hazard, especially when you're six eight and you're walking around in the back, in an Australian backyard, six foot eight tall. I know. And you hit like a clothesline. That'd be completely applicable if you weren't about five, five foot nine. six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clotheslines. Look out for them, guys, in the dark. Bad news. <laughs>